Welcome to this example of the microlearning project for EME 7672, Educational Design Research. This example talks about Delphi method and how it can be used for research and evaluation. The Delphi method is a process used to arrive at a group opinion or decision by surveying a panel of experts. Experts respond to several rounds of questionnaires, and the responses are aggregated and shared with the group after each round. This method is widely adapted for research as well as for evaluation. Experts' views in research and evaluation are highly valued because of their knowledge and experiences. Delphi method helped to borrow their wisdom. Finding commonly shared values among a large group of people is always a challenging task in research and evaluation. Personal bias existing in research and evaluation can easily distort the results and conclusions. Delphi method can prevent that. Delphi method help enhance the validity and reliability of your research and evaluation findings. Suppose that you designed and implemented an innovative online program that assisted students, grade 10 to 12, learning remotely at home during COVID pandemic. You need to find out the program pros and cons for improvement. You adapt a Delphi method for to collect information. Here are the steps. Step 1, send an email to all the stakeholders asking for their inputs on. 5 Reasons to like the program and 5 Reasons to improve the program Step 2. Synthesize the answers collected from the stakeholders and you have two lists of reasons to like the program and to improve the program. Step 3. Send the first synthesized lists out to all the people asking them to rank their top 5 items from each list. The lists looks like the examples give on this slide. I did not provide you with the complete list due to the space limit. Step 4. Synthesize the information of top 5 items collected and select the most popular 8 to 10 items to form two new lists. Step 5. Share the new lists with all stakeholders asking them to rank their top 3 items and providing an explanation for each item they select. Step 6. Synthesize the information with an explanations. Step 7. Share with all the stakeholders the synthesized information of two lists and give an ample time for stakeholders to comprehend the information. Step 8. Host an online focus group meeting with all the stakeholders. Explain briefly each item in the new lists. Ask if these items well represent their thoughts and concerns about the program. If an item or statement did not correctly express the idea, ask them to discuss it and then revise it together. After the group discussion, ask them to re-rank top 5 out of 8 to 10 items for each list. Finalize the list of reasons that people like the program and a list of reasons to improve the program with explanation. Step 9. Share with all the stakeholders the complete Delphi procedure and the final results of these two lists in a form written document. If you have any questions about this project example, please contact Charles Wang at xwang at fgcu.edu. To learn more about Delphi method, you might want to visit the following sites. Click the button to start and thank you very much.